Good at rather good morning, Anne Arundel County. Uh, good morning, America. Welcome to this week's uh, post or uh, for promoting uh, community conversation and discovery. I'm your host, Anthony Bynum. The name of our production company is Glenn Barney Players. These are exciting times here in Anne Arundel County. One of the first bits of excitement is the change of the season. It's starting to cool down. It is. Uh, the end of October, after all, so it's getting a little nippy out there. Wear your coats, wear your sweaters, right? But uh, like I said, we have an exciting show for you this week. Very, very exciting show for you. But before we start with the show, we have some upcoming announcements. So, uh, coming on, going on this weekend, Saturday, there's a place called Fern Brewing Company. They're in Grambles. Okay, that's P H E R N. And at twelve o'clock, they're having a special event to help support the local. SPCA, you know, the people who take care of the, the animals. So if you get the opportunity, you're in Grambles, you might want to check that out. Also, uh, every Saturday in Annapolis, they have the farmer's markets, open air market. You can get out there, buy some uh, greens and some other things. And I was out there one time. I think, I'm think i not sure we covered them in a the story or not, but they, one lady had some goodies there. I always love them little fruit tarts. She has something like that. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Uh, tonight at John Wesley, a fundraiser. It's movie and dinner. And the movie they're, they're showing is The Forge. I saw this about a month and a half ago. It was a fantastic, inspirational story. So if you can get over there to John Wesley, I think they have having spaghetti. I think they're like, it's, it might be like $10. I'm not exactly sure, but get out there and check it out. Also, our newest episode, episode 15 of Community Conversation and Discoveries, out right now. Uh, we sent it out to our four affiliates, who I'll mention in a second. Uh, but also, we're running an ad buy on Sprizzy. This is the digital uh, ad buy uh, company. And we we just started running it, uh, day and a, not even a day and a half ago, we have over a 1,000 views. So it's helping to build our brand, trying to get our name out there. So um, uh, we get the opportunity Check that out. You can see it right on our website, uh, you know, uh, the, at the Glen Burnie, uh, rather, the Glen uh, The other YouTube channels, of course, uh, at Anthony Bynum1948 and also at the Glen Burnie Players8542. So check it out. There's some really good stuff in this one. I had a chance to get uh, back into my sports roots with a great interview with uh, Coach Greg Lombard. So anyway, if you guys get a chance, you check it out. Check it out. Okay. Our affiliates, they're, they're the people who run our show for us. They're all cable access um, uh, entities. Uh, they're an underutilized resource in America. Uh, I wonder if other countries have cable access. We do. So uh, we want to thank the fine people at uh, Anne Arundel Cable Access for airing our shows. I want to thank the people at Greenbelt Cable Access in PG County for airing our shows. We want to thank the people at Amherst Media, which is in Amherst, Massachusetts, for airing our shows. And we want to thank the people at Manhattan Neighborhood Network, the five boroughs and the Big Apple. Thank you for airing our shows. We want to give uh, credit for the people who we rely on to do, you know, the resource information for this, or reference information, rather. So Wikipedia, Google Images, and this week, YouTube. Uh, this was a post generated by a Mike Mongoose. I'm going to have some fun with that too. Uh, of course, our sponsor slash underwriter is the Cleaning Chef. So now with that, we want to start off with our most admired. So let's bring them up. Now this is October and October means baseball. We're going to stay on this theme at least for a little bit. Okay, let's go up to our, our share. This is one of the all-time greats. I grew up in New England in the 70s. And this man was a legend back when he played. His name is Carl. His name is Carl Strunz. Because fortunately, he's still with us. Great, great baseball player. Great, great American. Just a great guy. So Carl Strunz, was born 8-22-1939. This guy played uh, 23 years, all for the Boston Red Sox, all for the Bo Sox, as they were called. 18 all-star games. Uh, he, uh, career batting average, 285. Hits, 3,419. Home runs, 452. 
RBIs, 1832, uh, uh, 1,844, which is a lot of RBIs. He won gold gloves seven times. He two principal positions. He played left field for most much of his career, but then eventually he started going over to first place, first base. He's second in all-time games played, third in total at bats, third in home runs for Red Sox behind two people. One I'm going to talk about extensively. One of those is David Ortiz. They call him Papa, Poppy rather. And Ortiz is a story all in itself because he uh, came to the Red Sox, but he's already been playing for a while. So he was a great, great, Red Sox player, great player. But this isn't about David Ortiz. We have a circle back to him at some other time. This is about Kari Shrimsky. The guy I want to talk about, though, is the guy he replaced, who was a legend, Ted Williams. Great, great, one of the all-time greatest baseball players ever. So this young man comes in to replace him in left field, and he shows he's up to muster early on. I think he came in the league in 65. I think he came in in 65. But 67 was a magical year for the Red Sox. Uh, they won the pennant. Kari Shremsky was an American League MVP. He was also a triple crown winner. Very few of those guys around, right? Very few of those guys around. Um, that team went to the uh, World Series. They lost in seven to the St. Louis Cardinals. They lost uh, one guy who's most dominant pitcher in baseball at that time, Bob Gibson, was just the best pitcher in baseball. He beat the Red Sox three times. Had it been any other year, any other combination, and they would have won the thing. That's how that's how uh, dominant Bob Gibson was. But again, that's another story. Like I said, the theme in October is baseball. So what else can we say? We can say that, like so many other great athletes, Carly Shrimsky, was a great athlete in other sports. He actually went to Notre Dame, not on a baseball scholarship, but on a basketball scholarship. <laughs> basketball scholarship. This guy was fantastic. Um, now, he got drafted in 59, so he didn't finish it at Notre Dame, but his parents, he made a promise to his parents that he would finish his degree, and he did in business administration. He finished it at Merrimack College in North uh, Andover, Massachusetts. Now, down the stretch in 67, three teams are buy buying for a chance for the pennant. One of those teams is the Minnesota Twins. They have a great baseball player on their team, too. His name is Harmon Killebrew. In fact, Harmon Killebrew is killing. That year, he and Kari Shrimsky ended up tied the majors for 44 home runs apiece. But in that last series, because they played Minnesota, Boston got the better of them because Kari Shrimsky went off. Those guys weren't hitting home runs at that time, but Kari Shrimsky was like seven for eight in two games. Got them to where they needed to be. Like I said, they, they uh, didn't go a little short against St. Louis, but uh, not without not without trying, man. They left nothing on the, ta nothing on the table. Uh, yeah, Kari Shrimsky has a lineage, too, because two of his sons, well, his one son and grandson, they played in the NBL. Mayor, uh, Nash, uh, uh, Major League Baseball. His first son, named Mike, I know it wasn't Carl, uh, was a great player himself. But, you know, unfortunately, he, he died early. He left, left us early. Um, his grandson, oh, well, there it is right there. Carl's middle name was Michael. So that explains the name of his voice. His good grandson playing in the Major Leagues right now. I think he's playing for San Francisco. He was drafted by the O's, but I think he's playing for San Francisco. So that's quite a lineage, huh? So our hats are off to this guy, this great, great, great man, great baseball player, Carl Yastrzemski. Mm, mm, mm. And we're going to circle back to that in a little bit for other reasons. So right now we want to move on, though, something of consequence regarding Anne Arundel County. So let's go to up screen share. We think about pastimes, family pastimes. There's still some that are still around. They had to adopt to new times because they're, you know, they take up a lot of space, brick and mortars. But one of them is bowling. I played a little bit growing up. I was not really my thing, but it was pretty popular. It was pretty popular. So we're going to look at this week at Glen Burnie Bowl. Now, Glen Burnie Bowl has been, been in business for over 30 years, serving 
Glen Burnie area. There have been a fabric of Anne Arundel County, a fabric of America, Maryland. They employ the traditional duck pen bowling. Okay, and these balls are smaller and they're lighter. So it's a little easier for other folks to get involved in it, right? The heavy balls. So, oh my God. You know, uh, it's not nothing like the Flintstones, you know, where Freddie's just kind of on fleeting on his air and throwing the perfect pit, the perfect strike. You know, those uh regular bowling balls are very heavy. But duck pen's easier, making it easier for the kids to get into it earlier. So I, I think that makes sense. Uh, they provide the shoes and the balls. Of course, we've all seen the shoes. <laughs> we've all seen the shoes. Uh, it must be the shoes. <laughs> they offer youth programs, uh, adult leagues, fundraisers, and of course, they partnered with some great organizations like the Anne Arundel Kids, Ronald McDonald House, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, the Blue Ribbon Project in uh, Northern community uh Nikon, which is North County, North County, mm, can't I will circle back to that, but we all we all know them as is Nikon. Uh a great, a great um uh, charity here in, in in North County and Arundel County. So folks, um yes, Glen Burnie Bowl. Uh you know, think about it. It's hard for these traditional brick and mortars. They've had to find ways of staying relevant because as uh, as Coach Greg said in our um, community uh, community conversation and discovery episode, uh, times change and tastes change. So they had to find ways of staying relevant. Our libraries do it. Our libraries do a great job of remaining relevant. Uh, so yes, uh, Glen Burnie Bowl. Get the opportunity, check them out. I think they opened according to this 1997. So, all right. So we're going to stop this year. We have one more thing we want to do. Like I said, our theme is uh, our theme is uh, uh, baseball. It's October. And October means baseball. So as a kid, I used to chase my brother Kenny around. He's about seven years older than me, but that's how I developed a love for baseball because uh, of sports rather, because, you know, he loves sports. And so he watched something. I was watching something, you know, that's kind of how he plays something. I played something. That's kind of how it worked. So that 67 year was a magical year. And he was a big fan of the Red Sox. And there was a play that came out. I think it was called the impossible dream. I think that's what it was. Yeah. And there was a song that came out of that play and my brother Kenny used to sing it. So therefore I used to sing it. Hopefully we're going to be able to get it the first time here. Let's see. I'm going to start the volume load just in case. This is on YouTube. Uh, so from Mike Mongo. So we thank you for that. So let's play it on. I'm going to turn the volume up slowly to make sure it's not a, not something else. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, I sing. I I didn't know all the words. You notice they talked about Boston. They talked about the area of, of Boston. They talked about the North End, the South End. They talked about Cape Cod. Ka Yastrzemski. Ka Yastrzemski. Ka Yastrzemski. The man they call you ass. <laughs> well, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I know I have. Uh, I'm going to get ready to go down and take a little trip and see some uh, old friends of mine. So for everybody here at the Glen Burnie Players, again, my name is Anthony Bynum. Until next time, bye-bye. We want to apologize as the song, Carl Yastrzemski, the man they call Yaz, did not work. Uh, so uh, just, you know, just, just have to check it out for yourself. It's a great song. <laughs>